long history of success. Uh, most recently, we, of course, have uh, Anthony Doerr, who published All the Light We Cannot See, which has gone on to great success. Uh, he was a graduate from here. Earlier, we had Carolyn Forche, and we had a long history of writers who've gone on to great success, and uh, both uh, to publish well, to win awards like the New York Public Library Young Lions Award and the, Far the Flannery O'Connor Award. So we have that history. And they're all funded, which means that everyone comes in on an exact equal footing. And this really gives us a sense of camaraderie in the program. Uh, we're in a small college town in the Midwest. Uh, it has the charms and limitations of that, but uh, I think the atmosphere here is, is good for writers. We've had a lot of success over the years, but there are a few things. Um, I think without coming to Bowling Green, I wouldn't have had a chance to do a lot of the writing that became my first book. Um, I, you know, the amount of time I had to work here, the support I had, the classmates I worked with, um, all of that was invaluable to like finishing that first book and getting that, that early work done. Um, I also think that I was really supported in doing the kind of work I wanted. I think the thing that people are afraid of in MFA programs is that we're all going to turn into the same kind of writer, and that wasn't the case here at all. I think everybody was really encouraged to be the writer they wanted to be and the writer they wanted to become. My time at Bowling Green has been invaluable for my writing career. Um, I think just the things that I learned here in terms of craft, in terms of how to put a story together, um, in terms of writing markets and publishing and submitting, um, it was great to have an American here to have kind of that experience, I guess, of learning how to edit a magazine and how people submit, where to submit. Um, but just, you know, the people I've met here, I, don't, I can't imagine having gone anywhere else. BGSU is, God, I mean, it was the place where my writing came alive.